Hey everybody, Derek here, here to bring you another video for The Walking Dead, countdown to the start of Season 6. And what this video is going to be doing is talking about the recent casting uh, that was announced yesterday at Comic-Con. Um, several different actors were cast in particular roles in this upcoming season of The Walking Dead. Um, Ethan Embry, uh, who is, uh, I remember him from the show Brotherhood on Showtime, and from uh, Once Upon a Time, has been cast in a role. Now, his role has not been um, expanded on much, so I'm going to do that at a later time, but there is somebody who uh, was also cast that I have a little bit more to work on, so I want to talk about that. Um, Merritt Weaver was cast in a role on the show, and uh, I basically want to talk about it, you know, see uh, maybe predicting which role she is playing and how that's going to affect the show. So just in case you are not caught up with The Walking Dead or if you don't want to be spoiled in any way, um, this video will contain spoilers from the comics um, about characters. Uh, so just in case you do not want to be spoiled, don't watch the video because you will be spoiled. Okay. Um, and what I'm going to do is, is I'm actually going to put a photo up of Merritt Weaver so you know who she is. Um, and that may actually uh, provide a big hint for who she is playing. So as you can see here, um, this is the photo of Merritt Weaver. Um, if you're not familiar with her, she actually uh, was a big part on the show Nurse Jackie. Um, she played Zoe, um, one of the nurses that worked under uh, Edie Falco's character. Now, she was definitely a very, very great actress. I really enjoyed Merritt Weaver's performance on the show. Um, I really liked the way that the character was, you know, very upbeat, very hyper, very... Uh, loving of her job, and I think that she really did a great job of playing that role. In fact, she did so well, she won an Emmy for Best Supporting Actress one year. Can't remember the year off the top of my head, but uh, I think that she is an amazing actress, uh, and I think that she will be a very welcome um, member to the cast. But the reason why I picked this photo in particular was I want you to notice uh, that she's wearing glasses, um, and they're pink framed. Um, whether that's going to make a difference or not, I'm not sure. But notice that she is wearing glasses. Um, and one thing that they did confirm for sure was that um, Merritt Weaver was playing a comic book character. And I think that that really does make a big difference, um, you know, for who she is going to be playing. And I'm going to reveal the character that I think that she is playing right now. And as you look on the screen here, this is a photo of the character that I believe Merritt Weaver will be playing on Walking Dead in Season 6. If you are not familiar with this character, this character's name is Dr. Denise Floyd. And she is a doctor in uh, the Alexandria Safe Zone. Now, um, you know, she's uh, been a part of the community since it began. Uh, you know, she is one of the doctors that helps out with people. And, you know, one of the things that I noticed, I said, well, you know, Merritt Weaver was playing, you know, somebody in the medical profession from her most recent show. So it's kind of really neat that she's now going to be playing another person from the medical profession in, uh, you know, The Walking Dead. Uh, I think that it really makes, uh, you know, a lot of sense. Plus, um, you know, I think that if you look at the picture of Merritt Weaver and you look at Dr. Denise, they're not too far off. They're actually pretty similar, especially when you put those glasses on her. I think that it really uh, is a pretty good comparison. Um, and I'm going to bring you back to my regular screen right now. Okay, so um, let me explain to you who Dr. Denise, uh, you know, is really um, in the plot. You know, again, she is a doctor. And, you know, what's what's really remarkable is that, you know, as of the end of season five, one of the doctors in Alexandria is dead, uh, Pete. Uh, we knew that Pete Anderson was a surgeon, so he was obviously a doctor that helped out, um, probably helped people in the community, but he's dead now. Um, so I think that this really gives uh, Denise the opportunity to really step up. Um, now, just how trained she is um, in the TV show will be very interesting, because in the comics... She seems to be a pretty effective doctor, actually. Um, and one of the big things that she is remembered for doing is saving Carl's life. Um, as we know, uh, Carl gets his eye shot out during the time when the walkers invade Alexandria. 
and Douglas ends up committing suicide by Walker. That's how I call it. Um, and he was shooting off various rounds from his gun, and one of them happened to go through Carl's right eye. Um, and because of the fact that Dr. Denise, you know, worked hard and, uh, you know, they, they kept the walkers away from the house, she was able to save uh, Carl's life. Um, and another thing that is of note is that her and another character, Heath, uh, actually become a part of a relationship. You know, they actually do have feelings for each other, and that may be something that is explored in um, the television show as well. Uh, but that is something that happens in the in the TV show, as, well, excuse me, in the comics, and may very well happen in the TV show. I think that Merritt Weaver, um, you know, is definitely a good choice. You know, the, the appearance is definitely similar. Uh, you know, it really does remind you a lot of her. Plus, you know, you look at other characters that they've cast, like Corey Hawkins as Heat, and I mean, I think that that was a spot-on um, casting decision. I think it was perfect, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, but, you know, thinking about Dr. Denise coming to the show, I think is very great. Um, and I think that it says a lot. One, you know, because of the fact that Pete's dead, um, you know, somebody needs to take over doctoring duties. And I think that uh, Denise is, you know, somebody that would be able to do it. And I think that that's why they are deciding to uh, introduce her, because... Uh, she would be able to fulfill those duties. Um, another thing is I think that she is really um, a, a favorite from the comic books. I really enjoyed her character. And again, I think that every character in the comic books played some sort of really important role. And um, I think that they all come together and make a very amazing story. And the more characters that you have from the comics coming over and having that impact, the more realistic the show is and the more that I think that we as audience viewers, you know, really appreciate it, you know, being able to see our favorite characters um, coming to life on the actual screen, I think is a great thing. Um, and I think that there are a lot of things that, you know, Denise has to offer. Um, and I think that it, it is a very good cast addition. I'm going to be very interested to see how the character um, is, you know, in regards to Merritt Weaver playing her, because we are more used to Merritt Weaver, you know, over the last seven years playing Nurse Jackie, and she's played more of a, you know, an upbeat person, you know, is she going to be that kind of a person in the, uh, in the television show, or is Dr. Denise going to be somebody who's different, uh, maybe a little bit of a combination of the two, uh, and I'm really interested to see her play this role, uh, you know, changing from this uh, character in Nurse Jackie to still being somebody who is, uh, you know, somebody in the medical field, but perhaps in a different kind of world. I mean, the hospital in general is a hectic place, but she was able, as Zoe, to keep her cool, whereas, you know, now you're going to a zombie apocalypse where the world's gone to H-E double hockey sticks, and, um, you know, she's, uh, you know, going to have to adapt to that a little bit. So what kind of a character will she be? I don't know. Because in the comics, she really seems to be more like a serious person. Um, and I'm very interested to see if they maintain that serious disposition. Um, and I also think that maybe her addition may be, uh, you know, foreshadowing a couple of different events that are going to happen in the TV show. Um, you know, potentially having her save Carl's life. Um, I think that that is possibly just gotten more likely, um, you know, now that we do have um, Dr. Denise coming to the show, it really does seem more likely that Carl's eye will get shot at, or even if it does, even if his eye doesn't get shot at, maybe it's not even Carl, maybe it's somebody else um, that Dr. Denise is going to be needed, that she's going to be needed to save somebody's life, um, and that is going to be, uh, become very important. Um, sometime during season six with the walkers invading uh, Alexandria, the walls, you know, we've seen that's going to happen. Um, and I think that it's a very good casting choice, and I am very excited to see uh, what she has to offer. Um, and I'm very, very much looking forward to season six uh, coming on October 11th. Um, and by the time I make a couple more videos, I'm going to get an actual countdown of how many days. I did that for season five, and I'm going to do that for season six as well. So with that, I'm going to bring this video to a close, and I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. 
If you guys have any questions or comments, don't be afraid to leave them. Feel free to subscribe. I do have more videos coming. And if there are any suggestions that you guys have for uh, a video idea, don't be afraid to suggest them. I hope you all have a wonderful evening, and thank you very much for watching.